morning peoples how are you peoples welcome to my vlog so today we will be making our favorite chow fun i'm gonna show you how to make it and i will be showing you as well where i will be cooking it yes that's correct we'll be using the one and only common appliance that you will see if you're renting a boarding house or living in a dorm which is the rice cooker that's correct so let's get started okay so what we have here our leftover rice from last night and then we have carrots yes definitely i chopped those <laughs> and then cabbage so of course it's chow fun we should have the garlic salt and pepper and then today we will be using tuna and aside from that, the oil that I'll be using is the oil that we have from the chili sauce. The chili oil, I mean, that we also made. The star of this cooking show is our rice cooker. You're correct. All right, so let's get started. So just always take note of this one because for the rice cooker, once it already like reach the maximum like heat or like the hottest point of the rice cooker, it will always go to warm automatically. So all you have to do is to always press it back to cook it. It won't because it's still hot. Okay, there you go. It's time to cook the rice. need to make sure that the oil or the rice is covered with oil so the amount of oil that you should put should be enough or equivalent to the amount of rice that you will be
Jar, salt, and pepper. For the salt, it really ups to you. I mean, like it, it's up to you. Just like me, I don't really like if it's salty. So the amount of salt. It is really depends on you. It's time to put the vegetables. So first I'm gonna put the carrots. Yeah, you can just use your hands. As long as you wash it. to put the almost forgotten green peas. yours if you actually like to drain it out or pour everything in but for me because I don't like the chow fun or this fried rice that I'm making right now is a little bit wet so I'm gonna drain the water from this canned tuna all right there you go I'm gonna put this in now So if you don't like putting like tuna, you can choose either like any canned goods like sardines or corned beef or meatloaf or beef loaf. So that's you know the convenient or the options that we have when we're renting or we when we are staying in a dorm or a boarding house. So there we go. I almost forget about this one. Mix it up. Let's wait for 
it to be combined well. So you can either either like keep it this way, like you know, just do some little mixing, and then you're good to go. But for me, <laughs> I actually like to put a little bit of soy sauce because I like the color to be a little bit darker. So it's really up to you, you know. You're the one who's cooking it, so put anything you like. Because I like it when the color is a little bit darker compared to if it's like white. See? Mm. Mm -hmm. well, you just need to mix it right now. Is well combined. And then wait for some of the liquid to evaporate. See, putting some soy sauce will actually make a difference. This is good for me. Yep. Yeah, that's it. It's easy. It's healthy because you can actually put any vegetables that you like to put it into. And like I've mentioned a while ago, it's really up to you if you would like to put or use some canned tuna or midloaf or what else? Um, corned beef, um, any canned goods that you actually prefer. So the good thing or the advantage of cooking your own food is that you can actually put whatever like spices or condiments that you will actually like how you want it to be. So... Thank you for watching this vlog. I will be posting more cooking yeah, videos using the one and only star of this cooking show, The Rice Cooker. Some tips that you can actually do when you're renting or when you're in the dorm or when you're renting in a boarding house, when you are away from the family. This is actually to make sure that we have option to eat proper meal away from home see you next time and don't forget to like click the notification bell and subscribe see you next time people stay safe and have a great day